Good morning and welcome to our weekly question time. We've got our star of the week and our superhero of the week. Morning guys, what class are you both in? Year one. The squirrels year class, two. aren't you? The year one, two mixed class, fantastic. And what's your favourite thing about being in that class? Colouring. Colouring? You like colouring in? What type of things do you like colouring? What's your favourite thing to colour in? I don't know. Anything. You just like colouring that much. Yeah? And what's your favourite thing? I'm um, playing with my friends. Oh, what a lovely answer. Who do you like playing with? Um, Jessica. Oh, I've seen you on the playground. Both of you are running around together. We've been Good playing choice. football. You've been playing football as well. Excellent. And I've been playing football. Have you? Very good. Football. Question number three. If you were the Prime Minister, so the boss of this country, what rule would you make up for everyone? Walking. Everyone's got to walk? Mm -hmm. What about footballers? Mm -hmm. Walking football? No, running and walking. Oh, so you're allowed to run and walk. What about people that do hop, skip and jump? They can't. They can't. Not allowed to do that anymore. What about all the cars on the road? Has everyone got to, got to, got to get out and walk? No, they can only drive. So you're allowed to drive, you're allowed to walk, you're allowed to run. What about the swimmers? They're going to run. So pretty much anyone can do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just be happy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what about you? What rule would you make up? Um, everyone what does what I ask do and what I say to them. Ooh, and what things would you make them do? Um, build roof. Build more, so build more buildings and more roofs for everybody. Lovely answer, fantastic. I'm going to be a builder anyways. So you want to be a builder when you grow up? For real. Right, question number four. What makes you happy? Doesn't have to be anything to do with school, just what makes you happy? I just like walking with a dog. Walking your dog? That's a nice one. Going. Yeah, and where do you like walking with your dog? Anywhere. Anywhere, so on the paths, muddy fields? No. Just the paths? Yeah, definitely, if you get muddy. That's a good one, though. Dogs make me happy as well. What about you? What makes you happy? Um, when I go to the park. Ooh, what do you like doing best at the park? Um, swinging. The swings. Fantastic. Do you go really high? Yeah, you're very brave. Excellent. I'm brave because mum just went... What, on a swing? Yeah, it went in circles. Are you not dizzy? No. Wow. Question number five. If you had one million pound... What would you buy? I wouldn't buy a Mercedes. A Mercedes? Are you old enough to drive a Mercedes? Or would you buy one for mum? Buy one for my... Buy one for my uncle. For your uncle? A Mercedes. Ooh, what else would you buy? Because a Mercedes isn't a million pounds. You'd still have some more money left. Mm -mm. What would you buy for yourself? For me, I'll buy. What else would you want to buy? I'll buy anything. Like what? What do you want? Loads of toys, Loads of toys. What toys would you go for first? What are you into? What do you like? Um, I like Mercedes and a Lamborghini. Toy Mercedes and toy, Merce uh, toy Lamborghinis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lovely. What about you? What would you buy with a million pound? Um, I would like lots and lots of teddies. Ooh, big teddies or small teddies? Um, big oh, teddies. Big teddies. What, like that one in the corner there? Can you see him? Mm -hmm. I've yeah, got a I've got like a that one. Have you? That big? Oh, That's I've massive. got a monkey one. Have you? That doesn't surprise me. You are a bit of a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one superpower, what would it be? What superpower would you have? To disappear. So, Mr. Invisible. Ooh. What would oh, you Mr. do? Oh, Mr. Iceman. Ooh. Invisible or Iceman. They're two good choices. What would you do if you were invisible? Where would you go? Just walk around and make people jump because they can't see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what about if you had ice powers? What would you do? I'm just ice under them. Who? Who would you ice? I can walk on ice under ice. So you'd walk on ice? Mm -hmm. Would you freeze like the lake and go walking on it? Mm -hmm. Or just the paths? Freeze the paths? I'll freeze the lake and the paths. Ah, very so good. Interesting. <laughs> what about you? What superpower would you like? Flying. Flying, that's a good one. Where would you fly to? Um, Mexico. Oh, 
what a good choice. Somewhere nice and sunny I, and warm. I, I, I'm always going to McDonald's. She said Mexico, not McDonald's. I went there. <laughs> what about McDonald's in Mexico? Win win, you could fly there. <laughs> like you're thinking. I've only got one more question then, guys. If you could pick a cartoon character to be your teacher, who would you pick? Uh, Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible, that's a good choice. Do you think Mr. Incredible would be a good teacher? <laughs> yeah, I think so too. What type of things do you think he'd teach you to do? Boxing. Boxing? Oh, he's very strong, Mr. Incredible, isn't he? That's a good choice. No one's thought of that one yet. Good one. What about you? Who would you like as a teacher? Um, Jack Jack's mummy. Who's that? Jack Jack's mummy. Oh, and what do you think they could teach you? Mm, doing stretches. Oh, very good. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. That way. Yeah, brilliant. One last thing to do then, guys. Give them a wave at home and say goodbye.